Hey everyone, this is Zallard1, and today I'd like to talk about Piston Honda 2 from Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. So since the last time I did speedruns of this game, there have been a couple of new developments on this fight, such that you get a faster time in the first phase, which is huge. Um, let's first look at the, uh, the new phase real quick. So there's a lot going on here. Um, it just looks like Mac is punching Piston Honda 2 and he's taking truckloads of damage, so we'll go over the basic mechanics of it real quick. Um, so, the first thing that happens is you raise Piston Honda 2's guard by tapping up. Whenever you tap up, then Piston Honda 2 likes to follow your guard. So, this is a pretty common exploit in the first couple of Punch-Out games, which, uh, basically fakes out their AI, and you punch them uh, where they're not guarding, effectively. So, Piston Honda 2's guard is such that once you tap up, and you see his guard up, you can sneak a gut punch. Um, but what we're going to do here is called the double gutter, so what you do is, once you do that first punch, you buffer another gut punch, which basically just means hold the punch button again. And then while that's going off, you can misdirect his guard up by tapping up after the punch input has been placed. So that makes Honda 2 follow your guard and try to keep it up yet again. And those two guts are key because it sets up his guard in such a weird fashion that it gets tired here and he just drops it on his own. And uh, for this brief moment, you can actually sneak in a face punch. And this face punch um, deals a little bit more damage than those left gut punches. Uh, the left gut punches deal four damage each. The face punch deals five. And his guard is in this like sort of in-between state, such that if you buffer another left gut punch and then raise his guard yet again, sort of similar to how you do the double gutter, he's going to put his guard up just in time to where that punch sneaks through. And every time you land four punches on Piston Honda 2, you get a star, no matter what. Now, this part's key. So, now that his guard is completely up, um, it wants to drop on its own. And this is the key moment right here. This, this right here, I'm going back and forth a frame. When he drops his guard, if you press star punch, at that very brief moment, then you get an opportunity to perform what's called the max damage uppercut. So the max damage uppercut is a move where you press start and during this animation you want to tap up very quickly, very briefly in a particular window such that Piston Honda 2 kind of wants to put his guard up but doesn't actually do it but the fact that he's he's thinking about it, so to speak, makes it to where he's busy and he can't put his gloves up when the star punch lands. And that's key because this frame right here, right before this punch lands, decides everything. So if his gloves are up on this frame right here, then he's going to take way less damage. But because his guard is down, he takes the full amount of damage possible from a star punch. Like, look at how much damage that dealt. So, after that, after that hard, uh, difficult punch is done, then this is basically, you're, you're free. Like, the rest of this is cake, by comparison. So you just manipulate his guard up and you do a right gut, which, remember, is a little bit slower, but it deals one extra damage and that extra damage is key for finishing this as fast as it does. Um, and you get that guaranteed star. So every other punch that you do um, gives you a guaranteed star. So that's great in this situation because everything is routed such that you only get the guaranteed stars. So for here, you just hold his guard up. You just throw that star punch as soon as possible. His guard gets tired, and then he wants to drop it, and you just pop him in the face. And then, at that point, you're home free. You get that punch, you buffer a star punch, and then you just buffer jabs, and he's down. Now, I love that phase. It's great. Um, I believe Summoning Salt was the one who found it. Um, 
there are a couple of things that I found that may help in situations where you miss that max damage star, the max, the max damage uppercut. So the thing is, if you miss it, the how do I go about this? You basically want to transform. Well, first off, let me let me go back. So you do that star punch. So let's say you missed that. What you want to do, the the theory here is I want to transform this situation right here into a max damage star opportunity. So like let's say I missed the first one, it would be really nice if I had another opportunity to land another one. But with the way the damage works out with the strategy, it doesn't work. So I have a new phase one to propose. So here is the new one. So I do that right gut instead of just the double left at the, at the start. And I swap it with that that one gut punch near the end. So that swap is very, very key because you're dealing one damage earlier than you're usually going to deal it. Yet it doesn't lose you any time because you're just swapping punches around. So you may think, why is that better? Well. It opens a couple of options because there's a couple ways you could miss the max damage uppercut. You could either press the star punch button too early, such that Piston Honda Piston Honda's gloves are still up while your star punch is going off. Like you put you pressed it too early and he can't drop them. Like once the star punch goes off, he's locked into place. So if that happens, then I have uh, a strategy for that. And then there's also the situation where if you press the star punch button and his gloves drop but you don't tap up at the correct time then what he does is his gloves are down but that those couple of frames right before the star punch lands he raises his guard like super sneaky and then uh, reduces the damage I have an answer for, um, <clears throat> for both of those so so here's the first situation so this time as you can tell his gloves are up so that means in this situation I press star punch too early so if that happens because of that extra damage that I dealt earlier I now have a battle plan those two punches now here's the thing that kinda sucks you need to have both of those and like I mentioned earlier every other punch gives you a random star so for this to work you need both of them now it's it kind of sucks, but it's better than having to reset because if you miss that star punch from before, you basically have to reset. Like you're you're pretty much done. And that that's a sucky feeling when if you were to get that random star, you'd still have a chance to save it. So, let's look at those two punches again. So, the mechanics are pretty similar to uh what we talked about earlier. So, his guard just kind of drops, you pop him in the face, and then you buffer a left gut punch and raise his guard. Now, once that happens, his guard is in that lazy state where he wants to drop it on his own. And then you get the second opportunity to land a max damage uppercut. And when you do that, you can just buffer another star and get your 25 and 1. Now, <clears throat> that's great if you miss it that way, but if you miss it the other way then that doesn't work as well. So let's look at the other situation where you could possibly mess up that uppercut. So the same opening I got earlier, but the difference as you can see, so right here the uppercut goes off at the correct time, but up was not pressed at the correct time, which means Honda is not preoccupied dealing with uh, your guard. So he can do this thing where he raises his guard a couple frames before the star punch lands. And if you look at the health bar, it deals way less damage. So, so in that situation, you want to deal a double gutter. So basically the same as the start of the fight. And his guard is in such a state where it's going to be lazy again, and you can perform the next max damage star and basically recover it from there. So yeah, that is, uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. So, 
you do need to have the random star in both of those situations, but it's better than just resetting. At least you have a chance at keeping your run going at the same pace. And uh, the cool thing is, if you do get the random star and do the adjustments correctly, you don't lose any time. So hopefully that'll be helpful for any runners that are uh, contemplating this strategy. Um, hopefully that'll help because I feel like one of the coolest things about this strategy is there are so many opportunities for backup strategies, and with these adjustments, there's even more. So, thanks for uh, listening to my uh, my sort of mini tutorial for the first phase of Piston Honda 2, and uh, yeah, I'll see you later.